Um, it was great. I thought it was great. Um, you know when you're... I mean, it, it's in one way, it's really great because it's quick, because you don't have, you don't have any lights, really. So in between setups, you can... I mean, there is no in-between setups. You're just moving all the time, which is great for a low-budget film. Um, and the challenge, is, the challenge, which is also great for just scheduling, is that you know when your day is ending because the sun is going down. So there is no overtime, so that's, like a, that's a money saver. Um, and it was just fun. I mean, we got to go up to camp, and, and um, yeah, I thought it was great. Where was it shot? It was shot we shot two weeks in Rouge, Valley, which is um, a park in Scarborough. Um, so anything that you see in the movie that that um, where you don't see water, that's probably Rouge Valley. And then we shot for um, one week at a couple camps up uh, near uh, Algonquin Park. It just seemed like a, a, a ripe setting for this kind of movie, and, and the camp scene is already a bit um, not weird, but certainly sort of isolated and insular and. Um, yeah, I don't know what's better. Her favorite doll as a child was... Is it one with a lazy eye and practically no hair? Um, yeah, no, our art director came with a few dolls and I just chose that one. It seemed like the scariest one. I just believed I was a creep. <laughs> I think it's prob it probably uh, worked out that uh, I, you were in the middle of, uh, you know, holding the, could, I, I could be creepy man. And you were like, I think this guy's creepy. And then you went, no, he's nice. And then I was, this isn't this guy, he's not gonna do anything, he just wants to help. And I was trying to do that as much as possible, like, you know, putting on like reading glasses and stuff to help with the wound and all that, you know. And then it turns out I was the guy. The nice guys are always the worst. Um, they freak me out a lot because I know that there's a lot of subtext going on in their thoughts, so I think you nailed that perfectly. It's the creepy ones that are the nice guys. I thought it was all based on who looks creepiest in a pair of shorts and an old t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got the part. <laughs> but actually, an interesting casting story is uh, I went into audition for Daniel's part of Ray, and uh, I never auditioned for the part of Fred. They just came back and said, we'd like to play Fred. So I, did, I literally showed up on set, having not auditioned or really read for the part, saying, what do you, what do you want me to do, <laughs> right? And we just sort of felt our way through it with the idea that, you know, there could be some red herrings and, He's the ultimate bad guy, but we don't want, we want to keep, keep you guys guessing along the way. Yeah. And I, I did look terrible in shorts. <laughs> it was funny, too. I think my main thing when, when I was shooting with Annie, my main goal was to just mess with her as much as I could. That's uh, all the long stares. I was just like, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'm creeping you out. I, I yeah, yeah, I fed on that. I fed on you quite a bit. That was, that's, that's kind of what the director of photography was here, Stephen Chung. He um, figured that out, you know. Uh, he, I don't know how he did it. it. It looks really good. I'm really happy with the result where you can just sort of see his eyes and uh, not see very much. That's definitely what we were going for. Um, Steve's in L.A. shooting right now, but I think in general he just he did a really wonderful job um, with very little resources. Um, so I'm sure there was a creative solution to that. I'm, I'm trying to remember. It was just with a little bounce. I think we had one light, one like high light, and uh, a lot of bounce. And some scenes it was only the flashlight. Oh uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Like That's some good. really dark scenes, we only really used the flashlight for light. So like I was kind of lighting the scenes. Yeah, we, we would have people standing with bounce, which is like a board basically, in front of Annie, saying, and Annie would tell Annie to hit the board every so often with the flashlight, and that would light her face when it came back. Yeah, there was more to the opening. There was a nice scene between Annie and Alyssa that didn't make it, um, and a few other people uh, <laughs> that didn't make it. Um, yeah, a few shots at camp. Um, I don't know if there was much else in the rest of the movie. Uh, but what happened, what happened in that early scene? 
that why did we cut it? Oh yeah, there was a great there was a great scene um, with Stephen and Richard. Um, I don't know, you know, it was a lot of stuff that was happening at the camp, and we basically just decided let's let's get to the island. Um, it's not as important as getting to the island.